University of Nairobi. I take this opportunity to thank you all for your support and commitment in ensuring that our university continues to deliver on its mandate despite the challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. We have had a very successful year 2020 despite the challenges and we look forward to a stronger performance this year 2021. That is our resolve. As you recall, the university reopened for on-campus learning, albeit for specific programs late last year. This phase reopening will continue with a lot of caution. In the face of a probable third COVID-19 infection wave, I urge you to continue being vigilant in observing the COVID-19 prevention and control measures. Let's continue taking all necessary precautions to prevent getting infected and to protect the people that we love, including our family members and colleagues. I wish to thank the Chief Medical Officer and the team at the University Health Services for the health support they continue to offer to all staff and students. Ladies and gentlemen, last year we initiated an omnibus reform package dubbed the five point reform agenda, namely the financial reforms, curricular reforms, people reforms, data reforms, and governance reforms. The reforms we are undertaking continue to yield good results. We have automated our financial systems and re-engineered the management of our accounts in order to ensure efficient cash flow management as well as accountability. I urge all of us to continue to be innovative in the way we carry out our business. The university financial situation remains a big challenge. I appeal to all staff and students to prudently utilize resources at their disposal and they avoid wastage as well as duplication. On curriculum reforms, the Senate recently approved a number of targeted reforms. We are going to archive a number of programs that are not aligned to the market needs. I shall soon communicate all the specific details and actions that Senate has approved. On people reforms, I encourage all staff and students to add value to each other in whatever activities they engage in. Because when a member of the University of Nairobi excels, we all excel. And the reform agenda of adding value, caring and giving hope to the people, the Senate has recently, through the Pardon Committee, readmitted 29 students who are formally expelled. These students have integrated well with the rest of the University of Nairobi community. It is my expectation that these students will focus on completion of their studies. As you recall, the Council last year approved the operationalization of the Emeritus Professor position for the professors who retire and would wish to continue offering mentorship to the staff and the students at the University of Nairobi. We have already received several applications. We shall be communicating the dates for the interviews. Ladies and gentlemen, Performance management has been part and parcel of the University of Nairobi work culture. The university recently held a performance awards ceremony in which the College of Biological and Physical Sciences emerged top. This was followed by the College of Architecture and Engineering. In the third place was the College of Education and External Studies. As regards the teaching units, the Center for Advanced Studies in Environmental Law and Policy emerged top. 
This was followed by the Meru Regional Learning Center. In the third place was the Department of Educational Programs. I wish to applaud all those who performed well. Those who did not perform well should not lose hope. They have very good opportunity to improve their scores and do well this year. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, this year we have lined up a series of activities that are expected to enhance our, competitive, our competitiveness as a university and to enhance the students' experience. These include the Taran Day, which is slated to take place on 12th March. The theme of this year's Taran Day is dubbed University of Nairobi, the home of talents. On this day, the students will be expected to showcase their talents. We have also planned the UON Sports Day, which will take place on the 19th March. I shall be sharing more activities that have been planned in the coming days. I want to appeal to all our students and staff to plan and participate in these activities. I wish to thank you all and God bless you richly.